Uh, so, so within those parameters, um, you know, you say you agree with that. What's what's kind of a way that you you try to remain honest with your players? Is there because I'll, I'll even be honest with that too. I think that I think that one, it, it comes from knowing your players. We talked about that too um, because I think that there are some kids that if you came up to and you just straight up told them, hey, you're not you're not skilled enough to be able to do it. They may take that the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I think that number one, it comes from understanding your, your player, understanding how to communicate with them, what you are trying to communicate without hurting their feelings mm -hmm. and creating, honestly, kind of creating a beast inside of them. Hey, let's get this thing rolling so that you can get the goals that you've set for yourself. How, how do you go about that? Well, um, I'll just use an example. Uh, you know, a kid I sent to you, you guys, um, Miles Green. Yeah. Um, he was, uh, he had a late birthday, uh, played at a lower level school, um, but he, uh, he, he was going to go play college baseball and I, and I knew that he was good enough mm -hmm. for that, but, Talented um, kid. Yeah, yeah, but his velo needed to go mm -hmm. up. So, you know, mom called me and said that he, he had opportunity that he could play 17 U again, his senior summer. And, um, and I said, to be honest with you, I don't think he needs to play. I think mm -hmm. he needs to go train. He's already, he committed Southwest yeah. and. And um, that's when I told her about yeah. you guys. I was like, if if he goes, you know, gain some weight, uh, get trained the right way, uh, then his velocity is going to climb because he's got the pitch ability and he's got the swag, he's got the yeah. competitiveness, <laughs> yeah, he's he got does. all that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> but he, his velocity needs to go up, and he's yeah. one of those guys that that it, to it's me, in there. He, it's, in, it's there. in there. It just, it, he, you know, I was worried he's not going to get it out until he starts working at his college, yeah. and then it may be too late. Yeah. That's what you're saying. I don't want yeah. to get him stuck there. Yeah. So that, that's just an example. So it's you caring about your players. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that kid. I, mean, yeah. I, I watched him when he was a little bitty and coached his older brother. Yeah. And um, he was always a good player. But, yeah, you know, I don't think anybody told him because guess what? He's the best arm on his high school team. Mm -hmm. You know, and that when you're the best, it's hard to it's, it's hard, hard to know to how you get better, where to get you know, better, everything. I, yeah. I talked to the two college coaches last night, and they were bragging on certain kids and. I'm talking about how they got better, and it's like they got better because, you know, one of them was a catcher for since he was in eighth grade. Yeah. There's no other catcher better than him. He yeah. started varsity since yeah. eighth grade. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. now there's four other catchers better yeah. than him. So he's going to turn it on. My, my coach used to say, you know, you put piranha in with catfish, they start swimming. Fast. Yeah, and yeah. that you know that's kind of what happens when you go to college. But if you do that before college, mm. that's where you see mm. these these players that's, play on a higher that's level. That's also where you see that transition becoming a whole lot easier because like I'll, I'll be honest every single level there is a transition it doesn't matter if you're going from from JUCO to Division One, from high school to JUCO, from middle school to JUCO, all the above. There's always a transition period you know they talk about the game speeding up on you all of those things I think that I think that when you're when you're a kid who is I guess slightly bigger fish in a very tiny pond, and then you get dropped in that big pond. It, it gets hard, but if you kind of get a little bit adjusted to that prior and see some guys that have a lot of good stuff, and you kind of start leveling yourself based off of, hey, this is where he's at. He's my age. I'm not close to that. What what do I need to do to get myself there? Yeah, and and that I mean that first thing I think about right there is just the, the being prepared for that. Yeah, and, and mentally prepared for that because yeah. you you mentioned you know hurting their feelings. Well. Mm. You know, there, there's got to be some a little form bit of, of you know, you, you get kids got to be able to get their feelings hurt yep. and be okay with it and, yep. and turn it on. Yep. And and I do see kids that that have trouble with that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, my wife just finished her school for um, she getting a doctorate in uh, sports mental performance. Yeah. And and you know, this last year. I've been interested in what they've been doing because it's like, man, that, oh, that's yeah. some stuff I can't do. That, that stuff's but interesting, man. Yeah, I love yeah, that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and just kind of a plug, yeah. use it or not. Um, it's, uh, her, her company's called Mind Grind, but she kind of has a little side gig. She does ACT prep and stuff like that. Okay. But she does, uh, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling yeah. and to try to help that. And uh, she's worked with a lot of our players. And, mm -hmm. and that's such a side of it that, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's a coach's job too. But, yeah. you know, uh, but, you know, getting into uh, being able to handle that transition because you're totally right. I had two brothers that played pro ball, and and um, you know, one of them was a pitcher, and he got Triple A, done well in Double A, and he got the Triple A. And I remember him calling me, and was like, you know, going from Double A to Triple A, 
it, I can make my best pitch and it still gets hit off the wall of the bad swing. That's the difference, you know, and because you got big league hitters. Unfortunately, there, you know, I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, so you understand. And, and but but being able yeah. to handle that, you know, yeah. like, all right, I'm I'm a, you know I'm a dog in double A, so it, here we go. Here's Failure. my chance, and I'm pumped up. I'm throw my slider. I got him. No sir. Yep. You know, are you gonna fold up there like? No, that, so you that's gotta have that, that mental toughness. That's also where I think that failing from a younger age is beneficial. Oh, yeah. um, you know, I think that I've, I've talked to my dad about this too. Um, you know, exactly like I said, I wasn't, I was not a talented kid. I, I know that I ended up, you know, getting up to AAA, but for that it was all because I was just, just honestly, I was ignorant. Oh, yeah. I was ignorant enough to not listen to the coaches that told me, hey, you know, you're not there. The ones that told me, like, hey, you know, <laughs> just just go ahead. Don't don't say you're going to be a professional baseball player. Let's try to find a safer route for you. Right. I was too ignorant, and I didn't listen to that. Um, thank God I didn't, though, because that, that type of mentality of, like, wait, you're going to tell me what I can and can't do? Right. Okay, let's see what we can do with this yeah. then. Um, and I think that, you know, part of the reason I was able to get as high as I was is because of the fact that I have never been that good throughout my entire career, and I've always been behind everybody. Right. And it's, and it's not... Too. It's not when I'm back in that scenario, even in pro ball, mm -hmm. I'm not sitting there like, woe is me, I'm done. It's right. okay, well, I got to figure this out now. Oh, I'm here. Let's, let's try to make some adjustments, see if oh, there's yeah. something I can do to get myself to beyond that point. Yeah, I, I've had so many conversations at a youth level, 13, 14-year-old kids that uh, are in that boat. You know, hey, I'm, I'm not that guy that I see every day on Twitter and, you know, getting, getting all the praise and they're the guy. Um, you know, kids want to quit because of that, mm. you know? and, mm. and it, it comes down. You know, I, I was that kid. I was the smallest kid on the field I, my whole life. Um, you know, I was a really late bloomer, um, and you know, always played second. Got thrown at second base, and and but I loved it. It yeah. didn't matter. You know, yeah. it was like um, I didn't make my ninth grade team. Yeah. I, I was way way immature body wise, and and but I loved it so much that you know, I just I I kept on kept on. That's probably why I'm in the business. But yeah. But it also, you know, I, I'm attracted to those kids. I, I'm attracted to helping them. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I've sat in, in passenger seats with a crying 13-year-old kid because he's struggling in junior high ball, mm -hmm. you know, which that could be another interview I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of. Uh, yeah. But, you know, just because of kids that don't have puberty, the field's way too big. Yeah. The oh, bats yeah. are way too heavy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was one of those kids. The balls too. are too heavy. In my yeah. opinion. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah we, we can get into all that. But, yeah. but the, the failure of that now, that one particular kid I'm talking about is he, right now he's playing at William Carey. Yeah. He, he, you know, he was the smallest kid on the field, but now he was also the hardest worker. And he was, he was has a dog. To. He was the toughest one. He has to. There. If he wants yeah, to play, he has only, to. Only shot yeah. he had. Yeah. And, you know, where does that turn on? He could have quit yeah. and decided to do something else. I guess I guess that's a good question. Is there is there, from what you've seen, I have my opinions here, but from what you've seen, do you think that that's innate or do you think that you can learn? I, I think you can definitely learn. I think it's more of, um, you know, habitat and what you're around. Mm, yeah. Um, and kind of goes to the parents. Yeah. You know, do they give up easy when yeah. things are bad? And, you know, and, and that's that might hurt a few people's feelings, but... That's reality. Relentless. Uh, yeah, Being that's relentless. reality. I mean, you know, both my parents were business owners, so yeah. there's some ups and downs with that. Yeah. So, I, you know, I kind of grew up in that, and, and um, you know, uh, that plays a big part. Um, and and then also, you know, teams that our kids are on, um, program, you know, high school program. Yeah. Uh, does, you know, is, is the program very, like, you're either good enough or you're not? Or, hey, we're, you know, we're going to do this to – help you we're not going to cut you being objective here's where you're yeah. at here's where we need and, to get and there, you to. there's some that you know there's some programs do a really great job yeah. of uh you know some have classes they don't they don't actually get to go and play games where they have classes i think that's a neat way of doing it uh you know some don't even you know that they, they don't cut them but they, they're on a seventh eighth and ninth grade team which is tough but it, it's kind of them you know, back when I played, we didn't have travel ball. We had Babe Ruth. Yeah. And that was pretty much 13, 14, 15. That's pretty yeah. much 7, 8, ninth. And that's hard. You know, like I said, I was smallest on the field. My shortstop was a 6'5", mm. uh, already in ninth grade. <laughs> he, played, he got drafted, uh, played with the Orioles. Okay. Uh, uh, Justin Hink is a pitcher. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm dealing with that. Yeah. You know, but did it make me better? You know, physically, it probably didn't matter. But mentally, no doubt. You know, no, mm. no doubt, like. Uh, you know, it, it made me want to grind one, once I got to high school, mm. you know, and, and, it, and it didn't, I didn't get affected by 
you know, I played for a three three A school. I didn't get affected by if we go play a five A school. Yeah. And they, you know, they they look different, right? They yeah. Look different pulling yeah. the bus. I didn't ever get affected by that. And yeah. I think some kids do. I mean, I see it in travel ball. You know, we show up and you know the team's got their own trailer and yeah. you know and you know I mean we, we they're, da- cool they're decked ones. out. They're decked yeah, out. And they're, yeah, and their coach is swole and stuff. You know, it's like different. You know, <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're not swole? Is yeah, that what you're saying? Well, you know, no, I'm I'm, I'm old. But, you know, but you, but you see that, and the, and, yeah. the, and the kids start sizing them up. Like, yeah. Oh, look at that! They're big. Look at that! You know, and, and I think that's natural. But how do they handle it? Yeah. You know, instead of like, hey, I can't wait to hit that dude, or I'm scared to get in the box with him. Yeah. Or yeah. You know, vice versa, I'm scared to pitch to him. You know, all yeah. that kind of stuff. And uh, I think that just that rolls along on that mental side of, um, you know, how are they, how are they prepared? How are they being coached? Mm. How are they being parented? Mm. You know, and and. That's a scary thing yeah. uh, that that you know I see daily uh, with having so many teams uh, in the area. You know, yeah. the youth and the high school side. You know, we we touched on it uh, prior to rolling. We talked about how there's there's a conflict of interest, and I definitely see this. This is prevalent. This is very prevalent. Uh, conflict of interest with guys adding way too much on their plate without communicating with everybody that actually is the professional in that sense. So well, what I mean by that. Maybe we have guys that we know they're on this team, but they don't tell us about this team and this team, and they're actually playing these many. We're programming their workload, their throws, and everything, and we're doing it wrong because they're not communicating with us. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you deal with that. I, I definitely do. You know, once uh, our kids, uh, especially I'm gonna say 13 and 14, they're doing uh, school ball stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm on them every practice. Hey, make sure you t- did you long toss today in mm-hmm. school? Because mm-hmm. if not, you're not long tossing yeah. this evening. Yeah. You know, and and some will just yeah. you know they either please me or, or please yeah or yeah I've else. seen that it, it's it's time. like almost it's almost like fear it's yeah. almost if I don't do this yeah. I won't well, be well, here. I try to put the fear right back in. Yeah. Like like you know so they understand that that part is important. I'm not yeah. gonna. Uh, you know, I'm not going to look less of you if you don't throw today. Yeah. There's other stuff you can yeah. do with me. I'm going to get you better yeah. without throwing, yeah. you know. Uh, and it's not just the throwing side of things. Uh, you know, we, we have a weight room and everything at our facility. And, and you know, if, if they're working out at school, and they're doing squats, we're not going to do You're squats. You're not going to be doing it know? here. Yeah. But we're, we're going to do some stretches. We're going to do some mm-hmm. uh, rotational stuff that, that might help them come out of the, the soreness and, or, or help them, uh, you know, tweak some muscles that they're not working at yeah. school. And we're, we're the we're the extra. Yeah. You know, we're, we're we're the extra work yeah. to put in. Yeah. But you got to be smart about yeah. it. And for me, you had, you know to be smart, you have to be shown what smart is. Well, you know, yeah. you have to be taught what smart gotta is. Got to be open too. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, we, we have we have a lot of kids that do that, and I'm I'm open to it. Uh, I said earlier, some you know different kids can handle different things. Mm-hmm. You know, and and some play multiple sports. Uh, some families can't handle kids uh, yeah. playing multiple sports because of time, work, whatever. And um, but they need to communicate that. They need to communicate that with whoever they work with, whether it's guys like well, what y'all do, uh, pitching instructor, hitting instructor, um, because they're going to tell you some, sometimes, not not everybody, um, you know, hey, we need to do this, mm-hmm. you know, but you're their client, yeah, you know, and I, and I I'm an instructor, yeah. but I, I try to do a great job of making sure, like, hey. We don't need to do a lesson yeah. this week. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. And I want them to understand that. I don't want them to feel like, hey, if I don't do a lesson this week, he, you know, he's not going to get me in next month or whatever. So touching on that, um, I have I have my belief here. I think that I think that the state of baseball here has such a high potential for success at the highest level. Man, I've seen some talent here. There's a reason that I'm here. It's not it's not because it's not it's not the dollar. Honestly, it really isn't. I think you know I've told some people this before. I started this out of frustration. I started this because exactly like I told you before, I was told by coaches, my, my, the coaches I was paying, they told me I just need to keep doing what I need to do, but I was told by Division One coaches I'm not good enough. Um, I was told by you know some people outside, I was told by my varsity high school coach, I never played varsity high school baseball when I was in JV, um, and, and I'm looking back at it, the, the state of baseball here has such talent and such potential to really, honestly, be at the big league level. I think that, you know, there's a lot of people from the state of Mississippi at the big league level. It's not near what it potentially could be. Oh, yeah. um, and, and, you know, we're talking about, I'm not, I'm not here to say I know everything about baseball. I don't. And I will make that crystal clear. 
This game is so complicated, you'll never figure it all out. Mm -hmm. But I think that there are some things that, to this point, we know to be the truth, and it's being done improperly. Um, whether it's whether it's people that um, just have maybe they've had success that way. Maybe it's guys that have had success in the game, and, and and good for them. Kudos for them. They figured out their career. But there's ways that that bleeds into these players that's just not being really brought up the same way. How how do you go about? How do we go about? Um, one, not stepping on toes, because that's not what we're here for. We're not here to tell people that we're better than them, them, them. We're here to just give the information that we believe in and our philosophy and do our best to train people. How, how do we go about educating or, or instructing, honestly, the population to better understand, hey, one, this is achievable. Two, takes a lot of work. Three, you got to be smart about it. How, how do we go about that? Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, just talking about the state and, and rolling into that, why why we have the, that talent, you know, I think we're a very competitive mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah. Uh, with Between football and, and – All and, sports. And, and, yeah, yeah, all sports, man. Yeah. And, and, and I think that, that you know, you, you're raised in a household that's competitive. Uh, they're also – most of these kids are, are rural. Yeah. You know, they're they're outside. Yeah. They're climbing trees. They're jumping. They're belling hay and yeah. that kind of stuff. Where they're 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 more active than kids in other areas. Yeah. And I think that's why, you know, we kind of breed the athletes. And I mean, you go elsewhere and they look at our JUCOs and our there's some in the water here, man. Oh yeah, they, they, they're <laughs> looking in at the us water. Like, What's going yeah. on? Yeah. <laughs> Fall River wins the national championship. Ole yeah. State. And you know, they're like, "What's going on?" Well, you know, that's there, and it's not that. Um, you know, the, w w and the, not just the teams, the, yeah. the players. I mean, uh, you know, you look at uh, – I saw yesterday three Southern Miss guys were playing each other you yeah. know, in big leagues. And, um, you know, it, it's definitely there. But to there's, there's so much more that, mm -hmm. like you said, because of uh, – I'll just use the word ignorance, or un uneducated. Mm -hmm. And that's – I think that's what you guys are – trying to do to try to help where mm -hmm. not saying anybody's wrong or yeah. anything no yeah. but uh, everybody's got a different path but yeah. hey we're here to help we're, we're here to help but there's there's also there's too much there's less it's, it's the balance to me the balance. it's like what fits that kid what fits yeah. that athlete what does that kid need and that's where I try to make as, as much adjustments as possible um, because and, and and without it being a dollar figure yeah like hey yeah. i'm gonna make money off that kid or yeah. whatever uh like i said before I, I could be doing something else making a lot more money i, I didn't get into it for that you know yeah. I, I i wanted to i want to be able to have a living no doubt yeah uh but but definitely you know I, it's hard for uh, we still get criticized for that yeah. you know like oh it's all about the money you know the money just helps us build facilities yeah. and get to go to these tournaments and stuff but um the the scary thing is 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 that there are, there are people out there and and, the, and, and it's kind of hey this is our living so we got to do it yeah. and sometimes the, they get they get blinded yeah. you know they get blinded by hey I, I need, you know measure your success hey I've got this many lessons yeah. or I've got yeah. you know this many kids or I've got it, also I got this many kids to college or I got sometimes it's not even about that yeah. you know um, for for us like on the youth level Maybe it's just the kid making his junior high team. Maybe it's maybe it's a kid loving baseball. Just loving baseball. He yeah. might just be the stat guy. Yeah. But you're teaching him yeah. baseball Man, instead of yeah. just yeah. Yeah. You know, because it's not yeah. you, you're going to have those kids yes. that are like your guy. You know, we're, we're going to put him on camera. Yeah. You know, we're going to show his numbers off. But there's also guys under him that you're doing it for yeah. too. You yeah. Know? And and that's that's where I'm at. I mean, yeah, I went and saw my college guys last night. I'm super proud of them, and they were guys that, you know, I the question of them playing college baseball was was you know low and, Iffy, yeah. yeah yeah and so there they are i'm proud of them that also but, shows you i don't mean to interrupt but that yeah. shows you those guys that you're like eh, and then the ones you're like oh this guy's yeah. gonna make it and uh, that one always does this but i've got other ones that's you know uh, i've got one going to military uh, that dude i mean he he's going he's going to do something special yeah. i know yeah and baseball played a part in that on the yeah. side yeah on the training yeah. side like they're used to doing something, yeah, and, and, and that's that's what I, that's what I like about yeah. the business is you know I'm in this is my tenth year, and so I've got to see you know some results. success and results and and not just baseball, you yeah, know, not definitely not just baseball and and uh, you know creating uh, you know great human beings, great husbands, great fathers, 
you know, I think every coach says that, you mm -hmm. know, uh, and, and I, I don't think that coaches don't think that, but I really get high off that. Like, yeah. man, that, that kid, man, they turned out awesome. Yeah. And yeah. having a little part of that is, 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 is just an extra reward. Yeah, yeah.